Number 306. Find the angle in mils subtended by a line 10 yards long at a distance of 5,000 yards. So ito yung given natin. Meron tayong 10 yards line 5,000 yards away. At ang hinahanap natin ay yung angle subtended by the line 5,000 yards away. At yung angle na yun should be in mils. So isolve natin yan. So ito gamitan natin ng tangent. So alam natin ang tangent ng theta natin is equal to yung opposite divided by yung adjacent side. 10 over 5,000. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle natin is equal to yung arc tangent or tangent raised to negative 1 ng 10 over 5,000. So, shift tangent 10 over 5,000. So, meron tayong 0 0.11 degrees to in degrees. Kaya lang, ang hinahanap natin ay in mils. So, i-convert natin to sa mils. So, alam natin na ang 1 revolution or 360 degrees is equal to 6,400 mils. So, itong angle natin na to, i-multiply natin to ng 6,400 mils per 360 degrees. So, yung answer natin kanina, multiply lang natin ng 6,400 over 360. So, meron tayong 2.04. So, dun sa choices, letter B ang pinakamalapit. So, itong tamang sagot. 2 mils. Number 307. Assuming that the Earth is sphere, whose radius is 6,400 kilometers, find the distance along a 3 degree arc at the equator of the Earth's surface. So ito yung mga given natin. So yung Earth daw, ang radius niya ay 6,400 kilometers. Tapos meron tayong angle which is 3 degrees. So ano daw yung distance or yung length ng arc na nasasabten niya? So hanapin natin tong D. So ang length ng arc or L is equal to yung radius times yung angle natin in terms of radians. So simple lang. Yung multiply lang natin yung radius times yung angle niya in radians. So yung length ng arc natin dito ay yung distance. So yung distance natin is equal to yung radius na 6,400 kilometers times yung angle natin na 3 degrees in terms of radians. So i-convert natin ito sa radians. So ano ba yung conversion natin ng radians tsaka degrees? So ang 1 pi radian natin Ang 1 pi radian natin is equal to 180 degrees. So, ito lang gamitin natin conversion factor. So, yung 3 degrees, i-multiply lang natin ng 1 pi radian or pi radian divided by 180 degrees. So, times 2. So, yung distance natin is equal to 6,400 times 3 degrees over 180 times pi so shift pi so yung distance natin is equal to 335.10 kilometers so dun sa choices letter A ang tamang sagot number 308 the angle subtended by an arc is 24 degrees if the radius of the circle is 45 centimeter Find the length of the arc. So ito yung given natin. Meron tayong angle which is 24 degrees tapos yung radius natin is equal to 45 centimeter. Ang hinahanap natin ay yung length ng arc natin. So parang sa previous problem, yung length ng arc natin is equal to yung radius times yung angle in radians. So i-convert lang natin yung angle in radians. So parang kanina, yung L natin is equal to yung radius 45 centimeter times 24 degrees times 1 pi radian per 180 degrees. So, ganun lang kasimple. Cancel na yung degrees. Tapos, i-multiply natin itong mga to. 
So, 45 times 24 times pi over 180. So, yung length ng arc natin is equal to 18.85 centimeters. 18.85 centimeters, letter C. Number 309. A rat fell on a bucket of water wheel with diameter of 600 centimeter which traveled an angle of 190 degrees before it dropped from the bucket. Calculate the linear centimeter that the rat was carried by the bucket before it fell. So meron tayong bucket. Yung diameter niya ay 600 centimeters. Tapos yung rat natin nag-travel dun sa bucket 190 degrees. So hinahanap natin dito yung distance na travel ng rat. So from this point, napunta siya doon, umikot siya hanggang doon. 190 degrees daw yung arc na travel niya or yung naikot niya. So parang doon sa mga previous problems natin, yung length ng arc natin is simply the product of the radius times yung angle niya in radians. So ang gagawin lang natin, i-convert ulit natin yung angle natin sa radians. So yung length ng arc natin is equal to yung radius natin is equal to half ng diameter. So meron tayong 300 centimeters times 90 degrees or 190 degrees converted to radians. So, meron tayong pi radian per 180 degrees. So, makakancel yung degrees tapos sa magiging unit natin ay centimeters. So, 300 times 190 degrees over 180 times pi. So, ang length ng arc natin is equal to 994.84 or 995. Ito yung pinakamalapit. Letter D. Number 310. Given a circle whose diameter AB equals 2 meters. If two points C and D lie on the circle and angles ABC and BAD are 18 degrees and 36 degrees respectively, find the length of the major arc CD. So ito given natin. Meron daw tayong circle. Tapos yung diameter ng circle between A and B, 2 meters ang length niya. Tapos given tayo ng angle ABC, 18 degrees, and BAD, 36 degrees. At ang hinahanap natin, ay yung length ng arc ng CD. So wala pa tayong points ng C and D dun sa diagram natin kasi hindi pa natin alam kung nasaan yan. So kailangan natin mag-assume. So unahin natin, gamitin natin tong angle na una. So meron tayong angle ABC, 18 degrees. So ABC, so either dito yung position ng C natin. So i-assume natin na nandito yung C. Ito yung C. So 18 degrees, dapat maliit lang yung angle niya. 18 degrees Tapos yung angle BAD naman natin BAD So pwede rito or pwede rin dito Pero i-assume na lang natin na dito So meron lang naman dalawang options kung nasa yung D natin Either the same side ng C or opposite side ng C So i-assume na lang natin na the same side ng C At pag mali yung na-solve natin Malalaman naman natin Pag wala sa choices So meron tayong 36 degrees from this point, meron tayong 36 degrees. So, i-assume natin na nandito yung D. Meron tayong 36 degrees. At 18 degrees. So, ito yung arc CD natin. So, para masolve natin yung length ng arc CD, dapat malaman muna natin yung angle niya. At alam natin na ang angle ng arc CD is equal to 360 degrees minus yung angle ng arc CA minus angle ng arc AB minus yung angle ng arc DB So ito yung angle ng arc CD natin 360 degrees minus yung angle ng arc CA natin minus yung angle ng arc DB natin 
So yung arc AB alam na natin na 180 degrees yan. Kasi half ng circle. So ito meron tayong 180 degrees. So kailangan na lang natin malaman yung angle ng arc CA at arc BB. And since meron na tayong mga angles opposite sa mga arc na yun, madali na natin isosolve yung mga yan. So yung arc CA, ang opposite sa kanyang angle ay 18 degrees. At yung vertex ng angle na yun lies on the circle. So kapag ganyan, yung angle natin dito na opposite sa arc is equal to half the angle of the arc. So yung 18 degrees natin is equal to one half yung angle ng arc AC natin or arc CA natin. Tapos di same sa DB. Doon sa opposite angle niya, yung vertex lies on the circle. So yung angle opposite the arc is equal to half the angle measurement of the arc. So yung 36 degrees natin is equal to one half the angle of arc DB. So tatandaan nyo yun. Kapag yung vertex ng angle lies on the circle, yung opposing arc niya is equal to 2 times the angle measurement. Kapag yung vertex naman ng angle natin ay nasa gitna, for example dito, for example ganyan yung angle natin, C papunta dito sa center, tapos sa A, yung central angle natin, opposite the arc, is equal to the angle of the arc. So for example, 18 degrees yung central angle natin, yung arc CA natin, 18 degrees din. Pero kapag yung vertex wala sa center, yung opposing angle natin, is equal to half the angle of the arc. So, tatandaan nyo yun. So, ngayon, isolve natin yung angles CA and DB. So, yung CA, multiply lang natin ng 2, yung 18, maging 36 degrees. Tapos, yung DB naman, i-multiply natin ng 2, yung 36, maging 72 degrees. So, palitan na natin itong mga to. Yung CA, 36 degrees. Tapos yung DB, 72 degrees. So yung angle ng arc CD natin is equal to 360 minus 36 minus 180 minus 72. So meron tayong 72 degrees. So yung arc CD natin ay 72 degrees. Ngayon, gagamitin natin to para masolve yung length ng arc CD natin. So ito yung angle niya. Pero yung length niya, masasolve natin using yung radius. So mag-erase muna tayo. So yung angle ng arc natin ay 72 degrees. Ngayon naman, isolve natin yung length ng arc natin. So yung length niya is equal to yung angle or yung radius. So yung radius natin ay 1 half ng diameter. Meron tayong 1 meter times yung angle natin na 72 degrees converted to radians. So meron tayong 1 pi radian per 180 degrees. So, 1 meter times 72 pi over 180. So, yung length ng arc natin ay 1.26 meters. So, tingnan natin kung nasa choices ba yun. So, meron. Dun sa choices, letter A. Ang 1.26 natin. So, yun na yung tamang sagot. Kung mali sana yun, ibig sabihin mali ang assumption natin kanina. Dapat ilipat natin yung point D natin. Siguro dito na siya. Kapag mali yung sagot natin. Kaya lang, since nasa choices naman yung sagot natin, okay na yun. Acceptable na yung sagot natin. And most probably, yun na yung tamang sagot. So, ganun sa board exam. Yung mga problems natin doon, hindi perfect. Minsan may mga mistakes. Minsan may mga kulang. So, kailangan natin gumawa ng mga assumptions. At kapag yung napalabas nating sagot ay nasa choices, okay na yun. Most probably, tama yung assumption mo. 